Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Blazing Dragons. So, we've kind of looked around here, poked around, picked up a few things, and now it's time to talk to the rather confused, screaming lady here. Excuse me, but your hair... It's too long, I know! Oh, otherwise you never would have said such a thing! Please calm yourself, miss. Yablanowitz! Rapunzel Yablanowitz! And how could I be calm with all this long hair? Oh, what long hair? You don't know what it was like. Everywhere I turned, it was, Rapunzel, throw down your hair! Rapunzel, throw some more hair down! Hey, I didn't get any hair over here! Before long, I was throwing down hair all over the place. It was making me crazy! That's exactly what I was thinking. Crazy. Luckily, Dr. Fraud is a man who knows how to make a commitment. In fact, he's committed everybody here. He's really helped me see the light. Getting the hair out of your eyes probably helped. Yeah, so she's got a problem. Should you be outside? Unattended? Yes, of course. I do the gardening around here. I trim the bushes, I trim the grass, I trim everything. You should have seen that beanstalk before I got to it. That That's pretty good trimming, really. Why are you so stressed about your hair? My hair? If I don't keep it short, it'll grow down to the floor and then out the door. But we're outside. Wouldn't it grow in the door? Well, if you're gonna split hairs. Now, don't bother me. I got to be ready with my clippers if it tries to grow. Forget I said anything. Most people do. Now, let's see if we can help this poor girl out here. And by help, I mean traumatize. Because we just happen to have a bottle of hair restorer here. Let's see how she reacts to having hair again. Ah! Did not like that. I don't think she'd like that again. I don't think she liked it the first time. But... Looks to be about 50 feet of hair. Pretty and sturdy. Ah! So let's take it. As that is now a rope. And let's see what she has to say about How's what we just hanging? did. Stay away! Any more of that tonic and I'll be able to tuck my bangs into my socks! I won't splash you again. You have my word. What I'd really like to have is that hair tonic. How about you hand over the bottle and I'll give you my clippers? Nah, I have the strangest desire to collect a lot of junk lately. Well, okay. Good trade, as we no longer need that hair tonic. Excuse me, Rapunzel? That bottle of tonic was empty! Now, I don't mean to be short, but get out of my hair! Well, I wonder what she's gonna do now that she doesn't have the bottle of hair tonic, or the, doesn't have the clippers anymore. Or didn't have a full bottle of hair tonic, because we gave it to her and it was empty. That was kind of how she got out of the whole thing, wasn't it? So, you think your mother is, um... <laughs> A, a dragon! Oh, good sir, I don't have time for this. Ah, you have a classic case of scale envy. Now, take off that silly costume. This isn't a costume. I'm a dragon. And you, sir, are a fraud. Yes, I am Dr. Sigmund Ford. Specialist in the disturbed, the confused, and the loony nut boys. What a mess. Sir Burnaby is trapped. Well, this is not good for anybody. Sir Bernavir is trapped. Am I getting out of here? Per my contract, I must release you on December 25th. It's the sanity clause! Ugh. It looks like Dr. Fraud is losing his patience. I order you to release... Sir Bernavir must have wandered in here and now he's trapped. Uh-huh. <laughs> you order me? Not to self. Also suffers from du A naked man eating flies. After what I've seen today, that doesn't seem so strange. He's a bit of a nervous wreck. It looks like he could snap any minute now. Mm, am I ever getting out of here? He's a bit. He's a bit of a nervous. Can't my look contact, at the. I must release you on December there, 25th. Huh? It's the sanity clause. Let's talk to. Let's talk to the doctor. Excuse me, Doctor Fraud. Another one. The madness is spreading. Wait till I finish with the other nutcase. Dr. Fraud, I really Excuse must me. talk to you. 
Oh, so you really must, must you? Hmm. You exhibit signs of deep-seated anxiety towards pivotal father figures involved in sycophantic relationships. Excuse me? You're a pest! Not how I would say pest, It's important but... that I talk to you, Dr. Fraud. You have bottled up anxieties. Now, take the cork out of that bottle and stick it in your mouth. Well, he's a lovely individual. Uh, Doctor? Wait your turn. Uh, Doctor? Wait your turn. I wonder where Flicker's eyes are in most of these shots, anyway. Uh, Doctor? Wait your turn. You can just barely see them. Psst! Sabernivir! Do you mind? I am in the middle of a session with my patient. Hmm. Can't talk to him. Excuse me? Yes, what can I do for you? I notice you're eating flies. Indeed I am, dear boy. They're low in fat, high in fiber, and the way they buzz on the way down gives them a little added zing. I didn't know humans enjoyed flies. Neither did I. Oh, fancy that. Humans like the same things we frogs do. Oh, so you're a frog? More or less. Aren't you cold? Nudity leads to that. I usually wrap myself in a lily pad when I catch a chill, but that's a little impractical now. If you don't mind me saying so, you look pretty human. For a frog, that is. Hard to miss, isn't it? I blame the princess who kissed me last summer. Eccentric girl. Good family, though. Is there anything I could do to help? If you should come across a princess in an affectionate mood, do send her my way. Puckered up, if possible. And not too much lipstick. There's a good chap. Hmm. Sorry to bother you. I'll see you're eating. That's the other guy's story. I say, that's a nice pipe. Uh, can't stop to talk. Have to play. Uh, uh. Thought of yourself as any other. So the play's the thing. But why? Uh, the rats. My playing is the only thing keeping the rats away. If I stop, they'll be all over me. It's horrible. But I haven't seen a rat for miles. Don't be fooled. They're all around us. They hide in the shadows with the glowing red eyes, waiting. You wonder what they're waiting for. Pe That's a catchy little ditty. What's it called? No, oh, it's called Keep the Rancid Rats at Bay. If one gets near, I fear my flesh he'll flay. <laughs> it's an original composition. Is that a flute or a recorder? <laughs> It's neither. It's a pipe. I'm the Pied Piper. Get it? I'll talk to you later. I see you're busy being insane. <gasps> Beware the rats. They're out there. Oh, yeah, well, that could be interesting. He's creatures. got a pipe. And we just yeah, happen to have a pipe. It's cleaner. Patience, human. Let's see if he likes cleaning Try this. his pipe. You're right. I'm human. You got me. <laughs> Thank you. Must keep my wooden pipe clean to keep the rats away. If the music stops, the rats will come. They'll come! Yeah, so he's clearly insane. Hmm. However, we have a guy How who thinks he's been a frog in a previous life dragon. before he was kissed by a when princess. Let's I test that theory, I shall mean. we? Because we happen to have a princess kiss with us. Hmm. When did you first realize that you were a dragon? Well, I, that was remarkable! All it took was Princess Flame's kiss to turn you back into your original form. I imagine you'd giggle if you could. And most of your IQ went away when you transformed, didn't it? So I'm probably standing here talking to a frog who doesn't understand a word I say. Very possible. Release me! I'm certain he's happy to be a frog again, but he still looks sort of sad and lonely. I'd be crazy to do that! So we have a have frog who might be just a little sad and lonely. We will have to take care of that. Am I ever getting out of here? So, we have Can our I first contact? three dragons all accounted for, it's with the, the fourth one being crawl. lost in the woods. And terrible puns assailing us from Dr. Fraud there. We have the first... We have the first dragon who is busy gazing at his own reflection. We have a second dragon who is busy being unable to see long enough to realize he's trying to attack his own king. And we have a third dragon who's being stuck with the psychiatrist. Hmm. 
Well, we can solve two of those now, but we will have to wait a bit before we can solve the third one. And I want to solve all three of these back to back. So let's keep exploring, shall we? I love the way the music blips out here. And we will have to go here to do it. We do not have to mess with the lady in the lake yet. That comes later. We will probably go there and see the situation before we solve all the dragons, Lost, but... the royal mole is ruining the streets of Camelhot. A royal mole? Well, while you may think a mole might be a substitute for a rat, it's not. And in fact, we will not be able to get a, our hands I'd rather on... not lug it yeah, around. We will not be able to get our hands on this mole for a good long while. But we can still look around here. That's the royal pizza chef. He makes a double cheese with rubies that's to die for. But he's not the happiest dragon in town. Okay. The royal subjects love this statue, but the royal pigeons love it more. Those are tough crows. They scared the last scarecrow right out of town. What about the corn? The royal gardens of Camelhot. Planted with corn in honor of the king's feet. Corn, huh? Oh, we could use and corn. Let those big black birds peck my hand. Quoth Flicker, nevermore. Okay, that didn't do much good for us. Hey, what's the matter, you? This paddle and I are very attached to find another. Yeah, he won't let us take the paddle. But let's talk to him before we try again. Excuse me, chef. Oh, solo mio, nothing is free, oh, my life is so depressing, <laughs> it's unfair and unjust, oh, what is the point, it seems like not much, what do you want, a flicker, I'm busy, being upset, what's the problem, what isn't, ah, it's been such a long time since I had a good laugh, you know, like when you laugh so gosh darn hard, you think it was hard, she's gonna explode? Maybe it would help if I told you an amusing anecdote. What's the matter, you? I'm not sick. I don't need no antidote. Well, you need something to put a smile on your face. Excuse me, chef. What do you want, a flicker? I'm busy being upset. What's the problem? What isn't? Ah, it's been such a long time since I had a good laugh. You yeah, know, okay, maybe it would help if I change any. Well, you need some. Excuse me. What do you want to f Can Trivet cheer you up? Ha! Ah, you crazy? Ah, that a stupid dragon wouldn't know a joke even if I served it to him like a larger pizza with the extra opals. Well, I know he's not that funny, but... Funny? Ha! He's not even close. He makes me even more depressed than I am. Excuse me, chef? What do you want to flicker? I'm busy being upset. I think I'm about to be visited Don't by Don't be cat. so depressed. At least you have a nice paddle. She's a beauty, no? <laughs> it's a one of a kind, irreplaceable. So you wouldn't want to sell it? I just said it's irreplaceable. I that can't. mean I no cannot replace it. <laughs> so the paddle's important for some reason. Actually, if you kind of remember something else we've looked at, you would know exactly why that paddle might be important. But for now, not much we can do here. We would want an ear of corn for very specific reasons, which you might remember. And we want that paddle for pretty much the same exact reasons, which you also might remember. But we can't get them yet. We have to satisfy conditions. Like making him happy and, you know, taking care of the crows. So let's look around here first, shall we? With all the soot around here, the royal sign washer has his hands full. Plus he has to work on stilts. Yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? This is the royal tournament sign. This path leads to the catapult practice range. This dirt is well packed. That sign should stay where it is for some time, barring some act of nature. It's the Royal Termite Mound. Hmm. A Royal Termite Mound, sign washer, 
and still he's standing on. Hmm? I bet we can find ways to pry all of these items into Flicker's inventory. Well, not the range, that might be a bit big, but you know, the stilts and other things. So, when we come back, we will have a word with our erstwhile sign washer there and continue to look around the practice range and the tournament arena. So, till then, take care folks. See you later.